Want a blazing fast Cypress Cucumber test loop? In this video, I'll teach you how to target a single scenario or a group of scenarios using tags. Hi, I'm Dane, and welcome to my channel. If you want early access to the kind of info in this video, watch till the end and I'll let you know how. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the cypress.json and we need to make an adjustment here. Otherwise, tagging won't work. So we need to turn the test files attribute into an array. So we just put those square brackets around there and save and we're done. Okay, so now we've configured correctly. We go to the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor GitHub page. I'll scroll down to the table of contents and this is the section I want to show you here, smart tagging. Click on that. So it says start your test without setting any tags and then put at focus on the scenario or scenarios you want to focus on while development or bug fixing. So let's start our tests, npm run, sci open. And let's go and find a single scenario that we want to target. So Cypress, integration. I'm going to go to the toggle a to do dot feature file and let's put a tag focus on here and we'll save that. Now how do we run that? Well we go to Cypress that we've opened up here and when we click on the toggle a to do feature it will run the test for us. And what we should see is that only the completed to do feature or scenario ran. The other scenarios were skipped. You can see that they were skipped through here. So what we could do is click on this feature, let it run, see that it passes, and then maybe we'll go and change something. Let's say we change this false to true and hit save. We can see that it immediately runs again and fails. So we know that that test is actually checking something and is working correctly. So we can go back, change it back to false, hit save. As soon as we hit save, it immediately runs that single scenario out of that file because we've focused onto it. And we could put focus on multiple scenarios. So say we do it here, we put at focus, and then it will run two out of the four scenarios. So that's one way we can use tags during our development loop to focus onto specific tests that we want to um, execute while we're making changes. Now the next thing we want to do is actually um, tag some scenarios with uh, specific names so that we can run them later on. Maybe we want to run them during our continu in continuous integration pipeline um, and isolate them off to another run or something like that. So my example here is I want to tag the scenarios and there's two of them in this file that operate on all of the to-dos. So I'm going to call my tag all to-dos and I'm going to tag the complete all to-dos scenario and I'm going to tag the uh, uncomplete all to-dos scenario. So both of these scenarios are now tagged with all to-dos and I can target those during my run. Now we don't do that through the Cypress open command. So we'll close that off. The way we run our scenarios and target them by tags is through a uh, executable that is provided by the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor package. And the command that we run is npx cypress tags run dash e tags equals and then the tag that we want to run. So just again, we're using the Cypress tags executable that's provided by the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor package. We're going to run the tests and we want to pass in an environment uh, setting. The setting would be tags equals all to do's. 
And so let's hit enter there and let that run. And while that's running, if you are enjoying the content that you're seeing here uh, in this video, please consider uh, pressing the like button and watching to the end to hear about how you can get early access to this kind of content. And there is all of our scenarios um, run. It ran two of them and skipped two, or there's two pending. Um, it only found the, uh, the all to do's tag inside the toggle a to do feature file. So it only processed that file. So that's why we see two run and passed and two pending. And so that's how we can target specific um, scenarios with tags. Now we can do even more uh, complicated uh, targeting using uh, the not keyword, the and keyword, using brackets and an or keyword. So if you target uh, or tag your scenarios in appropriate ways, you can target them right down to a very specific set. Um, maybe you want some scenarios that only run on a specific browser. And so uh, you might run a Cypress config that runs Firefox, and you might tag some of your scenarios with Firefox, and you'd use the Cypress tags command to target those. There is another um, additional tag that is sort of a convention, and that's called ignore. So if you want a scenario to not run, then the convention with Cypress Cucumber is at ignore. And then you would use this, um, this configuration to tell Cypress not to run the tests that are tagged with at ignore. And so that's how you run a single or a group of scenarios using tags. If you want to know next time I post a video, please hit the subscribe button. I stream software development on Twitch. So head on over to twitch.tv slash daneharnett, drop a follow, and ask questions next time I'm live. I tweet dumb puns and dev stuff at twitter.com slash daneharnett. Thanks for watching. And see you later.